Now you're going to be prepping for your Ian Murphy collages for the next two lessons. You need some brown paper and newspaper. If you don't have brown paper, you can just use newspaper. So you need to focus on just the text of the newspaper. No pictures and no images, please. You're going to rip to the shape of the paper. So make sure you're ripping in the right direction. This will allow you to get longer, thinner strips. And the same with my brown paper, I am ripping in the direction of the paper by looking at the lines on the paper itself. Next, it's time to introduce your glue. I would recommend gluing your individual strips rather than gluing the whole page. This can create a sticky surface and will be harder to draw on. As you can see, you can play around with the composition of where you place your strips. It doesn't really matter, as long as it's not too congested and you can see a lot of the white paper underneath. You can use an element of short, longer strips, thinner strips and slightly larger strips. As you can see, all of my strips are going into different directions and I'm testing where to place them before I stick them down. I don't want my composition being too busy, so you need to just put the final touches and make sure that you can see a lot of the white background behind. Remember, you are collaging two pieces of paper today, so you need to ensure that once one's finished, put it to one side and complete another one, but these two collages do not need to match. They can be completely different style and shape, as long as you have two completed pieces. Once completed, you will need to let your collage just dry for a few moments so the glue isn't sticky. You're then going to use either sandpaper or what I have here, which is easy to get at home, a nail file, and start filing down your work. Murphy always sandpapers his work down before adding any sort of drawing on top. This allows the texture to come through on top of his drawing. Once they're both sandpapered down, leave them to one side and save for next lesson. 